Okay, just a quick tutorial on the push-pull tool. Okay, before we get started, I just want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving, at least to all the Americans out there. Let's go 24 inches to start out with. And another 24. And we're just going to line that up by holding down Shift, and lining it up with the green, and that'll give us that plane. Okay, now go right up here to the push-pull tool. And we're going to bring that up 12 feet. Make sure you type in the foot. Oh, come back down 11 feet. Okay, we're just going to do 12 inches. Sorry about that. All right. So there we have the cube. Now, in order to put a hole in this cube, you just want to draw right on top of that surface. And to help select it, you can always you can select it and it'll draw right on top of that plane. Let's go five inches. Another five should just link up to it. There we go. Now we have two separate planes here. And if we want to put a hole there, then we just go right back up to the push pull. Click on there. And we can select that and it'll drive a hole right through there. Or you can bring it up like that. And from any surface you can push in like that. Now one thing I would do want to make sure to mention is let's get just a single surface right here. Now let's say we're going to go, let's say we're going, we intend to go three feet, but we accidentally type in, let's say we accidentally type in uh, 15 inches. It's going to go up 15 inches. Now before I do any other command, if I want to change that to three feet, all you need to do is type in three feet from where you are and it'll correct that original statement. So if I were going to come down two feet and I accidentally typed in, let's just say I went 12 inches and I decided that wasn't far enough, without clicking anything else, I just type in the other measurement, not the additional, but the other. So it would be 24. And that's going to take you 12 more inches. So it's going to correct the, uh, the original amount that you put in. Okay. And that was just probably the quickest tutorial we have. It is the, one of the most basic tools. So, and it is the first one you need to learn. One thing I can say is make sure that you don't substitute push pull, uh, sorry, follow me operations for the push pull. Um, if it's going to be, if it is an operation that can be done with the follow me, uh, use the follow me because you can't let the push pull become a crutch on you because you'll end up doing a lot more operations to get what the follow me tool could do. So I just want to put that in there and make sure that people are, are not um, avoiding that tool. Okay, thanks and we will see you in the next video.